Life is Good, Episode 1. Having analyzed and considered all factors in civil case number 36517, the request made by Mr. Nick Levashova to Mrs. Sveta Levashova for an immediate divorce and guided by the norms of the civil code set forth by the state, the court and state rules to dissolve the marriage registered on April 12, 1998 by Chev branch of the Regional Registry Office between parties Mr. Nick Levashov to Mrs. Sveta Levashova through Act Number 57A187. The marriage will be considered terminated from the moment the court enters into legal force. The persons participating in the case have the right to file an application contesting the court's decision within 15 days after the ruling of the court is declared and delivered to both parties by filing an appeal to the Court of Justice and Peace. Thank you. I'll call you later. Sure, of course. Nick, um... I just... Um, bye. Mm. Goodbye. Goodbye. What about me now? And Helen? Sveta, don't do this. You'll figure something out in the end. Everything <laughs> will be fine. No, it's but over. we can't without you. Sveta, I left you an apartment, yeah? That's more than enough for you to be okay. That's not what I meant. It's okay. just that... Sveta, I have to go now. Bye. Mm. Bye. Finally, we're free. No more hiding or lying to everyone anymore. It's just you and me. Happy? I am. I am. Of course I'm happy. I'm relieved. I'm tired, but a little rest can fix that. We can go to the sauna. Mm-mm. Love, did you forget? What? The furniture is arriving today. Oh, God, I completely forgot. With the whole divorce, it slipped my mind. I know. I get it. Let's go home. The movers will be there soon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Afternoon. We have a very good lunch menu today. I recommend it. I want vodka. Hmm. Isn't it still a bit early for vodka? <laughs> Maybe tea with some syrup? Problems? I got divorced today. I get it. And what do you get? You just left me. For a younger one. You know, when my wife left me, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find a purpose again. And I thought that there was no point of living anymore. I was empty, you know? 
But then I met a woman and I completely and utterly fell in love again, you know? All I'm saying is I understand. You need to forget him. All I can tell you is that how you feel right now, it's temporary. It goes away once you give yourself the chance to appreciate the present. You're just lucky. And you can be too. I'm sure you'll be. You seem like a kind and warm person. I can see it in your eyes. And besides, you're an attractive woman. You'll find your other half and be happy again, believe me. Nick was my other half. Nick. Well, if he's breaking your heart like this, he definitely can't be. <laughs> Maybe. But I still want him back. And he's moving on. You know, I understand her. Who? His mistress. He is a very handsome and respectable man. I mean, I've took care of his health over the years. I did everything. I took care of the house, his comfort, our family. I believed him, you know. 20 years. Do you know what it's like to live with someone for that long? Ugh. And look at us now. He ran off with a woman. And me? What about me? You're going to live your life now. Your own life, not his. Nick is my life. I love him, okay? And I always will. Oh God, why am I telling you all of this? Nick. Yep. They're finished. You need to pay them. Mm-hmm. So, how much? Four thousand. Okay. Mm-hmm. Three, four. Over here. here. Mm -hmm. And here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Of Thanks. Thanks. You too. Good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um. Well. Tell me. <laughs> Do you like it? It's nice. Well, I like it. It's if just like, like it, I want it. If you like it, then I like it too. I think this calls for a little celebration. For all this and the divorce, of course. I agree. But first, I feel like a hungry wolf. Will my girl cook something for us? Huh? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel really tired today. Mm. And I don't feel like cooking. I will help you. You can do the salad and I'll marinate the meat. Mm, Come no, on. No, Nick, Nick, we'll Nick, open Nick, some Nick, wine. Nick, Nick. Let's just order delivery. The restaurant will be quicker. I just don't feel like cooking. Vicky, you know that I'm, I prefer homemade cooking over eating out. Hmm? Mm. Kitten, please, I beg you. Mm. 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 Nick, to be honest with you, I've been feeling a bit sick today. Are you ill? No. I'm just sick. You're so slow-witted. I've taken four tests this week. You're serious? Well, yeah. So you're, you're... Yes, like I said, I've taken four tests to make sure. I... I love you. You've made me the happiest man on earth. Good evening. I haven't seen Nick around here in a long time. Is he on some sort of business trip somewhere? What's wrong with her?
It's open. You okay? Fietta, believe what I'm saying. Life goes on after divorce. It isn't a death sentence. There's no reason to be sad. Millie, I'm 43. So? Are you gonna go bury yourself when you turn 93? No, because age doesn't matter. You're smart and beautiful. Any man would kill to be with you. No, I don't need just any man. I need my Nick. Oh, bloody bastard. Stop saying Nick this, Nick that. He's not the hero you make him out to be. Besides, he's not yours. Listen to me. Things didn't work out with Nick, and that's okay. Hmm? I mean, I've been married three times, and look at me, I'm doing well. You know what? Maybe you just need some time. This is your chance to explore. You have some freedom now. Take mm. this time to find yourself. Go get yourself a manicure, do your hair, get your makeup done. You've forgotten what it's like. I don't need freedom. I need don't my husband. That. You need it. Everyone needs it. Especially us, women. I uh, understand that you are under a lot of stress. But life goes on. And you'll need to adapt to it. Try to relax. It'll be fine. What are you looking at? Oh. Well, at least your Helen is doing well. Look how well he's taking care of her. <laughs> she says Kirill loves her very much. Yeah? She's an angel. And you are a good mom. And now I'm all she has. Svieta, stop talking like that, please. <laughs> you need to try and be positive. I'm trying, but I can't. I know you're trying, but just try harder. Look, every day I go to the mirror and I tell myself you are gorgeous. And it actually works. No, I'm not normal. I'm special. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. And besides, I still need to check on the homework. Hmm, take care. Thank you for coming. I'll see you soon. Oh, hello, Aunt Millie. Hi, sweetie, I'm, I'm going. How's mom? Mm. Take care of her. Hello. Hello. I was at the cinema with Cario. That sounds nice. Did you like the movie? Yeah. It wasn't bad. Are you hungry? No, we ate at the cafe nearby. How are you? How was the court? Terrible, but I'll try to survive. I'm happy that you and Kirill are okay. Do you love him? Mm-hmm. A lot. You have no idea how caring he can be. He gives me flowers every day. Your dad also gave me flowers when we dated. I loved chrysanthemums. They were seasonal, but he still managed to get them, even in the winter. Mom, don't, please. Hmm. It's okay, I can handle it. It just happened so unexpectedly. The divorce, the move. We didn't even get a chance to talk. I think we might be able to talk things through, if we do. But why? Why do you want to talk to him? The man betrayed us. No, it's not him. It's her. She got into his head and he got confused. I just need to go explain everything to him and I'm sure he'll come back. That's naive. Why? Because that won't happen. I'm going to bed. Good night, dear. Are you going to? Hmm? Of course, yes. so much.
What a nice surprise. Hello. Hello. I got tickets to the concert. Really? You're not serious. I am. Want to go? Yes. When is it again? I forgot. Today. I'll come pick you up after class. Yes, there's also something else we need to talk about. It's important. What is it? We can talk about it tonight. Do you finish at five? My class actually ends at three. Well, great. I'll be there to pick you up then. Is that okay? Yes, of course. It's a deal. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Mr. Lavashiba, I have Mrs. Svieta here. You can let her in. Good morning. Oh, sit down. Sorry about yesterday. It was all so chaotic. But everything's fine now. I've come to my senses and I'm okay. That's good. There's no need to dramatize things. What did you want? Yes, I actually just wanted to talk. To sit down and calmly discuss and try to come to a solution. Yeah. To fix this. No, Svieta. We both know that we are making a mistake. Svieta, we're no longer husband and wife. There's nothing to discuss. But we can't leave it like this. I have no one else. But you and Helen. Stop. Don't try to guilt trip me. <sighs> Look, Nick. This new, um, <clears throat> girlfriend of yours, Vicky. She doesn't need you. She only needs your money. Don't talk about her like that. Vicky's going to be my wife soon. We're expecting. If you have nothing else to say to me, I have to work. And please don't come here again. It's delicious, but so many calories. You should eat. Sweets comfort. They also say chocolate helps. Remember, they said chocolate cures and heals the sadness. Yes, it's all about the serotonin. It's the hormone of happiness. Will you talk about bananas next? Oh, look at that. Your humor's already back. The serotonin's working. You know, Nick was right. You shouldn't over-dramatize this whole thing. You are acting like this is the end. Half the country's full of separated women, and we're all alive. <laughs> is that a life? Yes, it's a good life. A full and rather happy one. Today's just a bad day. Tomorrow will be better. It's not forever. Svieta, you need to get out there. 
and meet people. It'll help you gain some perspective. It's not that bad. <laughs> you're one to talk. I mean, you're single. What are you doing? My status is currently on active search. I mean, don't they always <laughs> say that whoever seeks will always find? Come on, you need to relax a little. A little bit of fun never hurt anyone. Once you let go a little, the men will fall at your feet to worship you. I don't want to. <laughs> then force yourself. Come on, get ready. We're going out tonight. <laughs> Me out? I didn't even really do that when I was young. Just do it. You have to give yourself a break. Change your environment. You're a woman. It makes you adaptable. I'm not very good at that. I can't really play or pretend. Talk less and do more. Once you start to make some changes, you'll start moving on and getting rid of all of these complexes. <laughs> and so setting yourself up for renewal. You just need to do something. And you'll see it works. Maybe you're right. Maybe? I'm always right. Are we going? Well... Good, that's it. Being willing is the first step towards renewal. And next, a change of environment. But first, uh, this won't work. We're going to the salon and getting ourselves a makeover. Damn, Helen, I have a feeling I won't be passing the psychology exam. Ontogeny, situational changes, it's all just too much. Listen, let's study together later tonight. I can't do tonight, unfortunately. I've already made plans. I'm already busy. <laughs> ah, I see your plans. The cafe or cinema? You won't believe. It's the concert. Really? They were sold out. Kirill got some. He's a real magician. I must admit, I'm a bit jealous. Anyway, I'll go. Bye. Get me an autograph. I'll try, okay? Hello. <laughs> For you. They're beautiful. Yeah? And you're even more beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. You said you wanted to talk to me? Uh, yes, I did. About? Something. <laughs> no, come on, you have to tell me. All right. I want to introduce you and your mom to my parents. Are you sure? I am. You're my future wife. Wow. Does this mean you're proposing? <laughs> uh, no. But I will propose to you in time and in a better setting. Let's meet the parents first, though. You think I'm being too old school? You're not being too anything. In fact, you're being perfect. Really? I'm absolutely serious. You think they'll like me? You? <laughs> I'm sure they'll love you. Let's go. You look so good. It's not that good. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Trust me, that Vicky girl has nothing on you right now. You look impeccable. Don't let it go to my head now. <sighs> I'll cry. No, I'm serious. Your only <laughs> tears will be happy ones. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you see that? Let's go. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Do you visit here often? Yes, but only sometimes. <laughs> only sometimes. What's your name? Huh, and why are you asking? You like me? If I do, then what? <laughs> then the name's Millie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mila. The name's Ruslan. Okay, how about we have some fun? Spiatha, get over here now. Come on. Come here. No, I'm fine. She's my friend. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Yes, Nick, it's me again. In the office? Vicky, I'm sorry. Uh, I know, but I'll probably be late today. A few things came up. When are you coming? You promised. Come on, Kitty, don't be upset with me. Do something at home, I don't know. Cook dinner for me. I'll be hungry when I finally get home. <laughs> okay, I'll order pizza. Okay, then. And whatever. Just don't be upset. I just need to finish a few things here, but I promise um, tomorrow, after lunch, I'm all yours. Deal? Okay, deal. I'll hold you to it, though. All right, love you. See you. Mm-hmm. Okay, kisses, bye. Uh, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. My wife is pregnant. Mm -hmm. She's worried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to me. Hide or meet someone. Look around and see what guys are here. Woo! <laughs> By the way, they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Millie, I don't know. I well, I have an idea. Let's go dancing. Let's go. Come on. We can't just sit here forever. Lovely Spieta. Just so you know, she's wow. not married. Wow, Ruslan. <laughs> nice Spieta. to meet you. Let's dance, dance, dance. Woo! <laughs> oh. Hey. I should go. I'll miss you. Yeah. Okay. See you. When? Tomorrow. Uh -huh. Are you sure about that? I am. I'm going. I'm Are going. You? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Go on then. Go. <laughs> I'll go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you home? Mama? Mom? Mom? Why not? Whew. <laughs> oh, it's so hot! <laughs> Ooh, two cocktails! Woo! <laughs> 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 
Hi, girls. Oh, hello. Do you want something <laughs> to drink? A margarita for me? What do you want? Uh, something with alcohol. Two margaritas, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then leave it in the fridge for 12 hours so that the skin stretches and dries out. Hi, Mom. Hello. I'm going to cook duck for dinner tomorrow. What do you think? Sounds good, but just make sure there's enough. What do you mean? We're having guests. I invited someone over. Ah, uh, from the office. I hope a girlfriend. <laughs> she isn't from the office. Mm -hmm. How many people am I cooking for? Well, it's gonna be you, me, dad, her mom, so... Mom. So listen, I'm marrying her. Oh God, really? That's such good news. Yeah, I've been dating Helen for a year now and I really love her. So I thought, why wait any longer? It's inevitable. Her name is Helen. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful name. And she's just as beautiful, you'll see. I think you'll like her. I don't doubt it. If you talk about her with such enthusiasm, if you've been dating for a year, why didn't you tell me about her? Well, I wasn't sure about how I feel, <laughs> but I am now very sure. I see. Do you have a photo? Yes, of course. <laughs> Here you go. Here she is. She is very nice. We look good together. What does she do? She's studying to become a teacher at a preschool. So she loves kids? Yes. I always wanted a daughter-in-law. I invited her and her mom over for oh. dinner tomorrow. Mm. Don't worry, son. I'll cook them an amazing dinner. Yes, please do. Uh, is dad home? No, he's working late again, as usual. He did say if he's in the mood tomorrow, we'll have a barbecue. <laughs>
I'm sorry for waking you. This was... a mistake. Sorry. Yeah? Yeah. You didn't think that last night. No. <clears throat> you really mm. managed to impress me. Oh. You were just so... What? I was so what? Oh. Mm hmm. Are you leaving? Yeah. <sighs> Goodbye now. Oh, well, can I get your phone number? No. Can I see you again? Uh, I'm sorry. No, we, uh, uh, can't do that. Never again. Why not? We just shouldn't. Goodbye. Oh. We just shouldn't. Oh, well, farewell then. Oh. Oh God, what were you thinking, Svieta? Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. Helen? Are you in? Where were you all night? I called you four times. Uh, I was at Millie's place. I stayed there for the night. You couldn't call? No, I couldn't. My phone was off all night. What? Can I have a night out? I did nothing wrong. No. Ugh. You're right. It's not wrong. I was just a bit curious. Yeah. You want coffee? It's okay. I'll do it. How are you feeling? Not great, to be honest. We drank a lot. More than we should have. Do we have aspirin? It's up there. Listen, I have to tell you. What? Is it something good? Kirill wants to introduce me and you to his parents. Uh, when? Tonight. We're having dinner. No, no, I can't. Not today. What do you mean? N no. Why can't you? <sighs> you have to. It's a family dinner. <sighs> You'll feel better by tonight. Okay, I'll try. Please. It's very important to me. Huh. Mm. Why are you worried? You don't have to stress. Think a little more positively. He wants you to meet his parents, so he's serious. Yeah. It'll be okay. I hope so. Help me choose a dress. Hmm. Had is killing me. Ugh. I had to come home alone. Can you imagine? No one saw me off. There were no men anymore. <sighs> oh, yes, thank God. Hmm. I don't have, have work. Oh, how are you feeling after last night? What happened? <clears throat> to that man who left with you. He didn't look too bad. Mm. He was quite handsome. Did you stay with him? Look, I don't remember anything. Like nothing. Well, are you okay, dear? <sighs> Whatever I remember, I hope I forget soon. Mom, what are you doing? I need help. I'll have to tell you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh. 
This one? No, well, wait, 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 wait. This one? Hmm? No, not that. It's too short for meeting the parents. Yeah, too short. Uh, mm, or this. Well, it's not an exam. Mm, I guess you're right. The white one, then? Well, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And you? I have something. You do? Yes, I do. Stop stressing so much. How should I not? This is the first family dinner. Mom, hmm. my hands are shaking. I'm not sure why, but I'm worried. It feels like the eerie calm before the no. storm. Don't be so dramatic. It's a normal day. But when I was jogging, my phone fell and the protective glass broke. It's bad. It's a sign. A sign of what? The safety glass broke, that's all. You're young and in love, it's okay. You being nervous means you're excited. It would be strange if you weren't worried. All will be fine. White one? Yeah. Sure. It'll be perfect. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you. I have a feeling that this won't end well. Vika, you're playing with fire. Why did you lie to him? Mom, what else could I do? It took him so long to get divorced. I needed him to move things forward. And this will do it. Mm-hmm, sure will. And what will you do? When there's no baby in your arms. When the time comes, I'll tell him. He'll find out and you know what will happen. These kind of things are no joke. Trust me, I know. Mom, he loves me. Loves me. He'll forgive me. Ladies, how are you doing? Excellent. After all those procedures, I can feel that my skin is smoothed and younger. That's great. Can I offer you a deep massage? How long? It takes about two hours. No, I can't then. I have to go shopping with Nick today. Yeah, but I can. I'm free. I have all day. I'm okay for now. Okay. Come to the massage room when you're ready. Just think about it. Well, welcome to my home. Mm -hmm. My dad built it. It's, it's spacious. Really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's spacious. <laughs> Helen and I will live here. Wait here. Thank you. Good evening. Good day. Good day. You got here all right? It was fine, thank you. Let me do the honors. This is my mom, mm. Mrs. Tatiana. <laughs> Call me Tate. Nice to meet you, Sveta. This is my daughter, Helen. Uh, nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, Helen. <laughs> very good. Well, welcome to our home. Where's Thank Dad? you very much. Dad's busy with a barbecue. He wanted to surprise you. <laughs> good evening. Welcome. Ah. Oh, good evening. Papa, let me introduce you to my Helen and her mom, Sveta. Sveta. Nice to meet you. Well, let's eat already. Help out the guests. Yeah, Here. this way. Uh, uh huh. How does it taste? It's very nice, thank you. He's a real meat master. I actually wanted to cook duck, but he insisted on barbecue. 
And I think he was right. Barbecue is always better. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure to cook duck for another occasion. You know, it might be nice if you visit us again next weekend. <sighs> that would be nice. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I've never had a duck. Tell mm. me, what exactly is it that you do? What, so to speak, are your prospects for the future? What do you want to do one day? Helen studies at the Pedagogical Institute. To become a teacher? Yeah. She loves children. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, very good. And you, Sviata, what do you do? I studied at medical school, but I didn't graduate. I'm a housewife now. No, oh, but why didn't your husband decide to come along with us this evening? We should meet him. We're divorced. Uh-huh. Which one of you is better off now? Mom. Victor, why are you interrogating them? Let them enjoy their meal. <laughs> Maybe it's time for dessert? And what might that be? A fruit salad and cherry strudel. Nice. I promise you'll love Mom's strudel. It's delicious. Then I won't argue with you. <laughs> That's right. Arguing with a man is pointless and stupid. And any man can see what's missing here. A nice drink to go with the dessert. Sfieta. Would you be so kind as to help me go choose a wine from our cellar? Me? You. I'm sure you have great taste. Dad, let me choose. Relax, son. Let our guest decide on the wine for us. Okay. Shall we? That's settled. I'll serve dessert. What kind of wine do you prefer? Pinot Grigio? Muscat? Or something stronger? I don't know. You choose, Mr. Victor. Mr. Yesterday I was just Victor. You thought we'd never meet. And now we have. Huh? you like it. Open it for us, son. Victor, what did you bring? You said it was cheap, sour stuff. Well, if we're going to have cheap, sour guests today, then why not? Dad. What are you saying? Exactly that. Just look at them. Son, where exactly did you pick up this bimbo? What are you going to do with her? Dad. Look at them, they're cheap women who seem to think that they can get my money. My money, by the way, not yours. Excuse they only me? want status. We never even thought about what you're saying. To get your precious money or your holy status, Mr. Victor. If I were you, Svieta, I would just keep quiet. All I'm saying is you and your daughter aren't getting anything. Nothing. I'm only making you aware of the gap between your daughter and my son. Victor, stop. What's wrong with you? Helen, let's go. Uh, I'll drive. Sit down. You're absolutely right. We are cheap women and we'll get home by bus. Great. Good riddance. What's wrong with you? You're asking what's wrong with me. What on earth is wrong with you, son? You ever heard of the word misalliance? You don't know her. I don't need to know her. I meet people like her every day, and her mother's the same. Hands on her knees, eyes down, says nothing. All thoughts about money. All thoughts about our How money. How you say that? 
I can. And listen carefully. If you argue with me, I'll deprive you of your inheritance, got it? I don't know if I should have bought this cashmere coat or the green one with the inserts. Uh, what's the difference? What do you mean by that? Mm. Okay, never mind then. Damn it. I forgot again. Forgot what? We bought everything. I need hookah tobacco. Why hookah? You can't. I mean, you're pregnant. It's not for me. For who? Mom. Does your mom smoke? Sometimes with her friends. It's trendy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your card? I want that other coat too. Of course. Here. Thanks. Just a sec. Yeah. He's not answering. I don't understand it. He loves you. He'll call. What if he doesn't? If he doesn't, it means he doesn't. But I love him. And he... He just sat there and said nothing. I don't get it. Why is he against us? What have we done to him? Don't know. Everything was so good. And then... If Kitty will stop loving me... Let him call me, and he can tell me to my face. I'll talk to him. Helen, maybe... <sighs> you shouldn't. I have to. I have the right... to know why. I mean, I love him. <laughs> 